Here's the sheep pluck. We have the trachea here with the tracheal rings. And then if you look toward the back, here is the membranous portion of the trachea. It's hard to see, but when you feel it, it's softer. Um, this, of course, is the heart. And although it doesn't say it on your sheet, if you want to look at this, it's a really good um, parietal pericardium. Yeah, it is. Really good parietal pericardium. And then what would adhere, the, the thin layer that would adhere to the heart itself is the visceral pericardium. These are the lungs. On humans, there would be three lobes on this side and two lobes on this one. So you would have a superior, middle, and inferior, and then a superior and inferior over here. The, um, let's turn this over so you can see the... Well, you can't see it very well on this one. Let's, let's grab the next one. These are just lungs, the heart's gone. So, you know this is the front of the trachea because it's not the membranous portion. So you, know, you can just see the tracheal rings. So you would know that this is your right bronchus and then this is your left bronchus. Um, anything that would adhere right to the lungs itself would be your visceral pleura. And then the thicker stuff surrounding it would be the um, parietal pleura. Um, this, let's move to the next section and we can actually see the esophagus. This is a sheep heart. Again, we have, what? Did I splash you? Sorry. Oh. <laughs> we have the um, trachea here. The membranous portion of the trachea is along the back. It's, it's really going to be hard to video, but you can see that it's, that it collapses more there. Behind that would be where your esophagus goes. And this is the esophagus. And you just slide in there together. Um, inside your trachea, is, it would be, it's all a mucous membrane, anything inside the trachea. Um, and that would be from anatomy one is your ciliated pseudostratified columnar, um, because you need it to produce mucus. So it has the goblet cells. And you need it to have cilia to push out any kind of foreign body that would, would go inside. Inside your esophagus would be stratified squamous. And it's also a mucous membrane because it opens to the outside. Um, your serous membranes are just simple squamous. And then, which would be any like your visceral pleuras or your visceral pericardium on here. That's what I got. You see that? Those, those are the little bronchioles. These are the bronchioles here. That's just a cross section Squeeze of the it lung. Like that again. Oh. <laughs> and then beyond that would be your alveoli with your alveolar sacs beyond that. You can't really see them. You They're can't. microscopic. No. Yep.